Hey everybody, this is example number two for mechanics of materials covering column buckling. The problem statement that we have is the W6 by 15 steel column shown below is 30 feet long and is fixed at both ends. It is braced at the mid height about the Y axis and the bracing is assumed to be pin connected to the column. And we need to find the largest axial load that it can support before it buckles or the steel material begins to yield. The yield stress for this steel column is equal to 60 KSI and the modulus of elasticity for steel is equal to 29,000 KSI. And here's our W6 by 15 steel column. It has a length of 30 feet. The unbraced length about the, about the x-axis is equal to 15 feet plus 15 feet, so that's 30 feet. The unbraced length about the y-axis is equal to 15 feet. The boundary condition here on the bottom is considered fixed and same thing on the top, it's fixed. And, at the, and the bracing at mid-height is considered to be pinned. The first thing we're going to do is get the section properties. Uh, the moment of inertia about the x-axis equal to 29.1 inches to the fourth power. Moment of inertia about the y-axis equal to 9.32 inches to the fourth power. Uh, the effective length factor K for the x-axis is equal to 0 0.5 because it's fixed, fixed, fixed on the bottom and fixed on the top. The unbraced length about the x-axis equal to 30 feet. The effective length factor k for the y-axis is 0 0.7 because it's fixed at one end and pinned at the other end. The unbraced length about the y-axis is equal to 15 feet. And the cross-sectional area is equal to 4.43 inches squared. So the moment of inertia and the cross-sectional area, you can get that from any steel design manual or also anywhere online. Next, we're going to calculate the critical buckling load about the x-axis using the Euler buckling formula. And this is equal to pi squared times the modulus of elasticity times the moment of inertia about the x-axis divided by the effective length uh, squared. And the effective length is equal to the, k, uh, the effective length factor k uh, times the uh, unbraced length about the, about the axis that we're interested in. So we're interested in the x-axis. We plug in the numbers, pi squared times 29,000 KSI times 29.1, divided by 0 0.5 times 30 feet, the unbraced length, multiply by 12 inches to get it into inches squared. So the critical buckling load about the x-axis is equal to, I made a spreadsheet for this example, uh, is equal to 257.07 kips. 257.07 kips. And this spreadsheet is available at our website at engineeringexamples.net, in addition to many other spreadsheets uh, as well. So please visit our website. Now we're going to calculate the critical buckling load about the y-axis. It's the similar approach as we just did for the x-axis. Plug in the numbers pi squared times 29,000 KSI times iy, which is 9.32, times ky, which is 0 0.7, times the unbraced length, 15 feet, and get into inches squared. So the critical buckling load about the y-axis is equal to 168.02 kips. 168.02 kips. After this, we're going to calculate the yielding load, the load that causes the steel material to yield in compression. So we have the formula, the yield stress is equal to the yielding load divided by the cross-sectional area. Rearrange this equation, solving for PY. And PY is equal to the yield stress, 60 KSI, times a cross-sectional area, 4.43 inches squared. So the yielding load is equal to um, 265.8 kips. 265.8 kips. And lastly, to determine the governing load for this column, we're going to we're going to consider we're going to compare the critical buckling load about the x-axis, the critical buckling load about the y-axis, and the yielding load, and pick the smallest one. So we have 265.8, 168.02, and 257. So so the critical buckling load about the y-axis is the smallest value, 168.02 kips, and this is our governing load. 168.02 kips. So this tells us that this column is going to be governed by uh, weak axis uh, buckling. So buckling about the about the about the y axis. 
And this is the end of this example. Please subscribe to the channel and also don't forget to visit our website at engineeringexamples.net. Thanks.